All right, I'm back, part two. Um, this stuff is hard as a rock. Um, I got this one all sanded already. Um, fiberglass always has these little pits and stuff, so when you fill it, make sure you push in there to get uh, all the filler in the little pits and stuff. But I sanded this, um, but I started off, you're gonna want something like that, you know, like an 80 grit or something on a drill or an air tool or something because your hands and arms are going to be very tired if you try to sand that stuff. It is very hard to sand. So I hit it with that drill um, just to level it off. And then I went over it with 180 with a block. So it's, uh, it's pretty flush, but you still want it a little bit recessed because you have to put another layer on there. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to mix up some more of this. Spread that over there nice and smooth and see how it looks. All right, got some of this mixed up real good. We'll spread that on there. Just make sure you push it in all those little pinholes. Get it nice and smooth. All right, after letting that harden overnight, um, I went ahead and sanded it with a block. Always wanna use a block, um, because if you just try and use a piece of paper with your fingers, it's just gonna turn out all wavy. Um, even a DA sander can, especially if you're going around like uh, the curve of the body and stuff. Um, but don't expect to get it perfect on the first um, layer. You know, you're gonna see high spots like that, you know, little uh, pinholes and stuff. Um, so I'm going to go and put another layer. I went and, uh, tapped that a little bit, just lightly, um, just to tap down that high spot a little bit, um, cause I can feel it, but it should hopefully one more layer. It should be nice and smooth. That's actually pretty smooth right now. Um, you want to be able to close your eyes. And so if you close your eyes and run your hand across it, you want to not be able to feel anything. So. Um, right now, really only I can feel is that little area. And since I tapped it down, it's uh, a little bit better, but I can put another layer and that should be perfect. Um, went, went ahead and ground these down. They're a little bit low, so that way I can put another layer on there. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And I also gotta sand the rest of these little spots, but That'll be easy. Um, the hardest part is uh, this one right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some more on there. All right, here it is. I got all the little spots sanded, um, nice and smooth. I put more layers on where it needed to be. So I got that all done. That's all done. Um, all those little spots are sanded and then sanded out a little ways so I have room to prime. Um, gonna end up priming the whole trunk and the whole hood because they're black and I wanna get it as close to that gray as possible so it's uh so I don't have any mismatch in colors. Got the fender done, took it off, um, so that way it's gonna be a lot easier to paint. Um, found a couple more spots, but that's bound to happen. As I was sanding, I just found tiny little dings down there. So I went ahead and Build those, and then there was a little one on the other side. So I'm gonna have to sand those, but not too bad. Um, gonna go ahead and mask this up real quick and get to spraying. Um, don't have to mask the whole thing, just uh, just to get those little spots. But this is what I'm using for primer. I got this. This is the one of the best uh, you can use. So it's got the activator right there. You put that little red button, goes on that. And the bottom, you press that button, it releases the activator into there. And you have 24 hours to use this can before it hardens up. So it's just as good as what comes out of a gun. It's a really good um, high build filler primer. So can fill 
minor imperfections and then you gotta sand it, get it nice and smooth. I also have, I find this works very well as a second option. You can find it at Walmart and it's a lot cheaper, but um, not as good, but it's, uh, for what it is, it's actually works quite well, I find. Um, so I've used this before. So I'll use that to touch up spots and uh, maybe, you know, help get a uniform color on like the rest of the trunk and the spoiler over there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Made good progress tonight. Got all the little spots primed, as you can see. They all look nice. Primed the holes, shaved antenna. Fender came out beautiful. Got the spoiler primed and the hood. Uh, still a little wet there, it looks like, but you can see the two different kinds of primer there, um, but they're pretty close in color. And then at least uh, it'll kind of be all gray, so that way there won't be any discrepancies in color. Um, the car's color now is, you know, what they call shiny primer, so that kind of works in my favor. But gotta let these uh, let this all cure overnight and then um, it'll be ready to really get sanding. So I'm going to probably wet sand the whole thing, get it nice and smooth. Um, and then that'll bring out a real nice finish when I get the paint. Um, might go pick up the paint this weekend, depending on how quickly I can get this done. But look out for part three coming soon gonna get this these uh, all sanded and have this thing all ready for paint. And then piece by piece, I'm gonna paint it. So probably gonna take the other fender off, take the trunk off, take the Targa off, um, paint everything separately. So it'll turn out real nice. So look out for that coming soon. <laughs> 